Hello, today we're going to be talking about selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. They are usually the first line treatment in depression. In regards to treating depression, there are MAOIs, there are tricyclics, the TCAs, and there are others um, such as trazodone, which is frequently used for sleep. There are also SNRIs. So once again, uh, the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, usually first line treatment in depression. I like this little mnemonic to help remember it for extra sleepy clients, please. Fluoxetine, escitalopram, sertraline, citalopram, paroxetine. They may take one to three weeks for improvement in mood, and sometimes I tell um, patients two to four weeks because it varies for individuals. And this is very important to tell your patients because if they're taking medication and they expect to feel better immediately, they're going to be disappointed and they're going to stop taking it. So we're doing them a disservice. Tell them that they need to take it for a while in order to see improvement. And unfortunately, they'll experience the side effects first before they see the therapeutic effect. However, the side effects do tend to diminish over time. Side effects can include agitation, insomnia, headache, sexual dysfunction, hyponatremia. The thing about sexual dysfunction, again, we need to ask about it even if it's awkward, like, uh, are you having any sexual issues? If you bring it up, they will talk about it. But if you don't bring it up, they may feel apprehensive. They may feel embarrassed to talk about it. But if you as a nurse or as a healthcare provider treat it very matter of fact, then they will open up to you. Um, it's important to not discontinue any medication abruptly, but also SSRIs. They need to be tapered down slowly. You want to monitor for serotonin syndrome, which can be life-threatening. And a patient should discontinue all SSRIs for two to five weeks before starting an MAOI and monitor closely when they first start taking their medication. Um, a medication such as paroxetine has a black box warning. In children and adolescents, it has a black box warning because of the increased risk for suicide. So you want to monitor all patients for increased suicidality when they first start taking their antidepressant. Serotonin syndrome is, can be a life-threatening emergency, and symptoms include hyperactivity, restlessness, tachycardia, fever, elevated blood pressure, altered mental status, abdominal pain, diarrhea, apnea, and then eventually death if not intervened. So what can you do? You can remove the offending agent, right? So stop the SSRI. Symptomatic treatment. You can use serotonin receptor blockers, such as cyproheptadine or propenolol, uh, cooling blankets, dantrolene or diazepam for muscle rigidity or rigors, and artificial ventilation. Um, for exam purposes for mental health, they usually do not test you on these medications or these. This would just be nice to know if you work in an ED what to do for serotonin syndrome. A patient being treated with paroxetine, Paxil, 50 milligrams PO daily for depression, reports to the clinic nurse, I took a few extra tablets earlier today. Now I feel bad. Which assessments are most critical? And it's a select all that apply. So remember we talked about serotonin syndrome and what it can cause. And we said that you can get elevated blood pressure, abdominal pain, diarrhea. So let's look at our options here. I, so definitely we want to check vital signs. And then if they can get abdominal pain and diarrhea, we want to check for that. And then also for a sensation of hyperactivity or feelings of restlessness, which is also known as akathisia. So these are our right answers. And that was selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors in under five minutes. I will end you with this meme. Nursing school, where A students become students who are just excited they passed. If that isn't the truth, I don't know what is. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Bye.